Hey everyone and welcome back to Dark Forest for the next episode in our Let's Play series. So we're just on our way down to the Sell Everything container. We have two more containers all with logs that I've cut down from around the farm. So I've cleared a few more trees around the, the house and also by the horse pasture or the horse stable we built last time. So just to get a little bit of money and to clear a bit more land. So 26,841 for the first one and 26,849. $27 difference between those two. So I'm going to get another two containers uh, purchased, get those loaded up, then we'll head back to the farm. Uh, today's jobs consist of getting canola sown into the field we harvested the barley in. So we're going to mulch that one and then sow, sow that with canola as one of our jobs for today. Alright, so we're back down to the farm area with the two new containers on the back. I say so you can see I cleared the trees from the back of the house going up to the edge of the chicken pasture, uh, chicken pen I should say, and a few trees that were just in front of that as well. And I also cleared a few more trees going back this way, so got a few off cuts there we can take over to the sawmill at some point so I cleared a few more trees just here in this area I think there was actually one or two just to clear a little bit more space there uh, the rest of the trees at the moment I'm going to leave as they are in those areas and I've also started clearing down the side of this field to open up this area a bit more as I just drive over a tree stump so I'm going to as in terms of tree cutting I'm going to Continue cutting these trees going this way and then around the back of this field and opening up this area along the side of the road going down that way. Eventually this is where we'll build the horse pasture or the open horse uh, paddock pasture. Uh, but we will need to um, come into this field a little bit because I think it comes to around about here. Somewhere like that if you come from the road. So we will lose a little bit of this field, um, but by that point we'll have opened up a lot more land around the back of here, so we can extend this field a little bit. And then, as, as I mentioned last time, we're going to put this field into grass, so we've got a grass field extra, so we get some more more hay for the sheep, because I do want to expand on the sheep as well and get more sheep eventually. So we've got quite a few pallets of wool, but we have missed the uh, best price of wool. I think it was back in May. So we'll keep hold of these until next year. And we should get plenty more pallets by then. Disconnect. I forgot I'd left that connected up. And yeah, so we've cleared a few more trees. Opened up the area a little bit more. I say for the rest of these trees at the moment, I'm just going to leave these ones here. And what I do want to do is get another shed built next to the horse path. Uh, stables here. I don't know if we'll do that today um, or one of those things we'll leave for another time. But so the main job I want to do today is get the canola sown in the field we harvested the barley in. Uh, we'll also do some prep work on the oat field as well ready for planting barley. So the first job will to be mulch those two fields. Yeah, so we'll get both fields mulched and then we can sow the field ahead of us with canola and then obviously we may need to roll that again canola is one of those crops I'm not sure if it needs rolling or not pretty sure it does so it'll be a case of rolling it and then spray it with herbicide so we don't get the weeds come through uh, we'll get the other field mulched and ready for planting with barley next, next month as that's the earliest we can do that Pretty sure it's September, uh, no, September, yeah, September's the earliest we can do barley. So we'll plant the other field next month, uh, but we'll do the mulching today while we've got the mulcher on. I've just realised as well, I've got to actually switch this over to mulcher. Because um, we last used it as a mower. Um, I mean, we use it as a mulcher, so I need to switch it back to mowing. No, mulching, mowing. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> Customised. Mulcher, yes, what we want. 
Yeah, we last used it as a mower, so we need to uh, switch it back to mulching. And that might that might do what we uh, need it to do. There we go. the first field mulched I'll get that switched off and folded up I'll go over and get the the other field done so that's ready for next time I've also marked out a few trees here just to be cut down at some point just so then we can move that road over a bit close to the front of where the trailer park is and straighten it off a little bit as well just for that section uh, give us a little bit more space on this side for the house and then for where the horse stables is a little bit more room around that one edge uh, but that's another job for uh, the time to come so I say I'll get the get the other field mulched and then we'll switch over to the seed drill and we can get the canola sown in that first field okay so we've got the upper field all mulched and now we've got the drill hooked up to do the canola we've only got 359 litres of fertiliser left I'm not sure if that'll be enough for this field but we'll see if we can get it all done if not we'll have to nip down to the store and get a few bags of fertilizer because we'll definitely need some for doing the barley next time as there won't be enough to do this field and the barley I don't think well there we go again our first canola crop in the ground So these soybeans won't be ready until October. Um, as I did mention last time, I can't remember, did I say last time we was going to do soybeans followed by barley? Were we going to put barley in that field? I can't remember last time. I did look at that because we could potentially do barley straight after the soybeans. And I can't remember if I said... Uh, that's what we were going to do last time. We just have a look at what I've got on the crop rotation. Uh, so potentially, yeah, 1.1 for barley if we follow the soybeans of barley. So, yeah, potentially we could do two fields of barley instead for next year. So do barley following the oats and also the soybeans, but the month after. Or we could leave the soybean field until the following spring to plant up with a different crop. Now I'll have to have another look through the crop rotation on that one. <laughs> or watch the uh, last video because I can't remember what I said. I vaguely remember saying something about the uh, soybean field and going through the crop rotation. But anyway, we'll get this field finished. So that'll be this field done. Does it need rolling? Yes. So we'll need to roll it. Um, was it showing crop rotation bad? I'm sure when I did the uh, crop rotation it wasn't showing barley following oats bad or was I got the wrong crop? Um, oh, I'm fine. No, have, have I got the wrong crop set? Oh, canola. Uh... Why is that showing? Oh, there we go. I don't understand. No, it's showing crop canola. Crop rotation 115. But if I get over here, it's showing 80. I think that's just picking up on this. Um, not the actual seed of crop. I don't be worried then for a second. <gasps> I was like, I'm sure canola was the best crop to do. Yeah, so we're going to need to roll it and spray it with herbicide as well. 
Uh, but we'll get the planting done first and hopefully we'll have enough fertilizer. Although we're now down to 287 litres. Um, we've only done one pass around the headland, so might just about have enough, but it's going to be very close. Right, so we just about had enough uh, fertilizer. But we are down to the last 30 litres. Um, but that will be all the canola sown for this year. So there we go, 27 litres left. So that worked out just about perfect. But we'll definitely need to get some more fertilizer for the barley next time. I'm just going to switch that to barley just so on. Because I always tend to forget. I don't know why when I'm doing the Let's Plays. It's not very often I plant the wrong crop in the wrong air uh, in the field, but it does happen on occasion. So I'll just get that switched now. So yeah, the next job will be to go over those that field with the rollers and then spray it with the herbicide. And so that will be that field all done then until next year. So I'll just put this back in the shed. Actually, if I put that back in now, I may not be able to get to the rollers. So if we just put this over to the side first, so I can get the rollers out. So there we go, rollers hooked up. So we'll get that done and then do the herbicide. We have got quite a lot of eggs now. As you can see, our pallet of eggs. I'm still considering putting a small shelter or something there or find somewhere else where we can start storing the eggs until they're at the best price to be sold. Which, uh, one of those things, I can't remember when eggs is... Check the stock check. So it's saying November, so it's not going to be too long. Uh, currently we've got 17,422 litres of eggs, so the current price is 1,000 per 1,000 litres. So we've got just under 18,000 in total if we, if we were to sell them now, but the max price is 1,400, um, which potentially we could get up to 24,000. So that's quite a big difference to what we can get now and what we could get in a few months' time, uh, where we'll probably have a few more pallets as well. So that should be a nice payday in November from the the eggs from the chickens. So that was definitely a, a worthwhile investment getting those in. And that's another thing we could potentially look to get more chickens if we've got enough barley. I don't know off the current field if we'll have enough if we were to double the amount of chickens we've got to keep us going till next year. I really need to take note of how much feeds in the trough at midnight and then go through a full month and work out exactly how much feed they use per month so and then I know exactly how much we need in storage to last all the next harvest so that's another another thing we could potentially look at doing is getting a few more chickens in uh, definitely expanding on the sheep as well I think the current reproduction is about 60%, so they're another couple of months away from the next 25. 
and as I mentioned what we'll do is when we get the 25 after that and we're up to 100 we'll build a second pasture and then we can move the 25 youngest ones from the main pasture into the the new one uh, that will leave a little bit of space then for the next 25 new births in that one and then we'll just repeat the same process so we'll take out the 25 new births out of the main pasture and put them into the second one and then when we get to a point where that one's full we'll take the 25 oldest ones from that pasture and we'll sell those ones and that'll create space then for the next 25 from the main one so it'll kind of be that rotating cycle of sheep between those two pastures so every now and then we'll get 25 sheep at a decent age that we can sell on for a profit and plus we'll also be getting the wool from them as well over a regular period Okay, so we've nearly finished with the rolling. The next job will be to spray the herbicide. Uh, so that will be that this uh, this build all done then. We will need to give it one more application of fertilizer, but that's a job we can do when we get the first growth stage. I just need to get that little bit there I missed. And that is another job done. Yeah, we'll get the sprayer hooked up to the little John Deere and we'll get that switched over to herbicide and I'll get that field sprayed and then we can have a look at getting this other shed built and probably continue clearing a few more trees then for the rest of today because there won't be much else we can do okay so last pass on this spraying and that will be another job done and I'll say all the work for this field done for today and uh, pretty much all our field work done for today as well there's not much else we can do because we don't have any more fields that require any work at the moment so there we go that is done so that'll just prevent any weeds coming through the so last job we'll do on that is to fertilize it which as mentioned earlier we'll do when we get the first growth stage so we'll get this back to the farm get it put away and then we'll get on with I'll probably put the the new shed in first so I know where it's going to go and then we'll probably continue clearing a few more trees okay but before we get on with putting the new shed in and the tree work I'm just going to give the sheep a bale of hay because they're bales gone now I think they've still got plenty of feed in the trough but if you put one bale in the trigger it will take it from the bale as well so it just extends the feed a little bit and also then there's no risk of me uh, forgetting to feed them I always like to put a bale in there once I see the bales disappear then I know the uh, feed could do be topping up and we'll just drop that off there I'm pretty sure they're okay for water. Yep, 4,363 uh, litres. Uh, one other thing I want to do today as well is get the next silo or grain bin placed. Just so we know where that's going to go as well. Uh, so, and it's ready for when we do the soybeans. So 
we'll just drop this back in here. And then we'll switch over to build mode. And then we can get the... Well, we'll do the grain bin first. So we've got silos and we want this one. Which is the same as what we've got. And if we try and get this lined up as best as we can. And try and get the same sort of gap as well. Which looks like there. Can't tell if that's too close or that one's too far. <laughs> try and work out. Right, it's about three steps over from touching. So about there. So that one I'll we'll use for the soybeans, and I think that'll be all of the grain bins we'll build in this area. Um, so what I'll do is switch over to painting and dirt, and we'll just extend this out a little bit more. So there's a little bit more to get around this side for when we empty in the bins. And we'll kind of loop this back around this side. So we've got like a turning circle. And then a road going back out. And what I also probably will do is, while we've got a little bit of money, is we'll get that to uh, go. Right, we'll extend this over. And I'm just going to put a slight crack in over by the sheep as well. So we've got some access to that rather than driving over the grass. Turn that out a little bit there. Um, I'll probably bring this out a little touch as well. There's a little bit more room in there. Um, but we'll keep that grass area in front of that. Um, and as I mentioned before, I'll come back in with some of the other textures and blend it in a little bit more, add a little bit more like grass and bushes around some of these bits. So, uh, so it's not all so nice and one texture. Um, I, I'll wait till we've got a little bit more money before we do that. And what I'll probably do as well is just hide up that little bit there. Bring that over. Right, so that's that job done. We've got the grain bin for the soybeans ready for when we need that. And the next one I want to do is get that other shed, which I'm going to use... The one from Elk Mountain Modding, uh, the ranch pack as well, which is this one. So this is the ranch extension set again from Elk Mountain Modding, the same as the the horse stable. So same textures on the side, so it kind of matches in same roof texture as well. And I'm thinking about putting this one just over here. I'll disable the ground collision. Or is it not going to let us put it anywhere over here? I've got a feeling I may have missed a stump somewhere. That's why it's not letting me put it down. So we may put this down and end up with a stump in the building. But if we go around about there. And then we'll paint the ground texture on this one as well. Just more or less inside and down the sides a little bit. And we'll bring that back over this way and extend that out a little bit more. Now this is another one of those things we'll just have to come back and tidy this up when we've got a little bit more money. do as well we'll kind of bring a path going across here I'll get that trailer put in that shelter out the way oh yeah I might have to move it out the way now <laughs> I can actually finish that texture because it's uh, not letting me do it so we'll get this moved out the way as well which we may actually need in a bit to load up some of the shorter logs um, yeah, we'll just park it in the actual new shelter for now. Just so it's out of the way. Uh, 
I can live there for a minute. Uh, where did I put the... So where I put the Mac it's over here with the containers. I've literally got stuck on the header then. I say this thing, it's slow, 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 and then all of a sudden it just goes boom and shoots off like a crazy speed. So we'll get this moved out of the way just for a sec. I may leave a little patch of grass there actually, and have kind of a little bit of an island. You know, I'll probably put a tree or three or two in the middle of it. Just so it's not one big open expanse area. I'll we'll put this back in. I'll say we'll put this in here for now, just so it's out of the way. Don't know if it'll actually fully fit in there, but this will have somewhere to live for a little bit. Right, it's as far as in it's going to go. Yeah, it sticks out a little bit, but that's not too bad. That um, out of the way anyway. I'll just put this back over here. Get that turned off and we'll go back into build mode. Go painting and we'll just tidy this little bit up a bit more. And just round that corner off there a little bit as well. And I think we'll just leave that at that for now, so I don't want to keep wasting money. Uh, the other thing I want to get, which we've got enough money for, is over here somewhere. So possibly around here. Now if we go production, generators, I want to get one of these in. Uh, again, this is also from the same pack as the horse barn, horse stable and that shed I just built. So we'll go that rotation and I'm going to bring that, don't want to come too close to that edge of that field. I want to leave a little bit of space in front for the water. What's that saying overlaps? What object does that overlap? Is there a log? Might be an off cut of wood or something buried in the grass there. Stopping me from putting that in. Uh, but let me put it there and then if we go to the container. Yeah, the container we can get one of these in. So we can use this then to fill up the water tanker as well. I'll drop that in there. Now go back into painting and we'll just kind of put a slight crack in coming down to this. Probably a little bit too close to the edge of the field. Now just so we can access the water. And we'll probably just bring that back off that way for now. And get rid of those couple of bushes there. And that'll, that'll do for now. So we'll tidy all this up again when we've got a bit more money. Because we are down to our last 12,000 now. And um, while I'm talking about money. Uh, before I forget again. I will repay the next 5,000 of the loan. So we're down to 95,000 now owed on the loan. Um, do it now because I'll. Uh, no doubt forget if I don't. So we've got that generator in which so produces a little bit of electricity which we'll get paid for monthly. Um, so that'll help out just give us a little bit of income to cover some of the costs of fuel, uh, loan payments and stuff like that. And also we can now get some water from there as well for the horses and the sheep. So yeah, next job we'll um, continue clearing these trees, try and get these two containers filled. So we can get those sold today as well and open up some more space down this edge of the field. Uh, get a little bit more money in the bank to uh, potentially get... Under, at the moment I don't quite know like what we're going to do, like kind of plan for... 
what to kind of do. Um, Money-wise, at the moment, I would like to get a new one of these. A tree harvester, or maybe get the uh, forestry equipment. I get something that can take the grapple, so either a second one that doesn't come with an attachment like the tiger cat that we can then use the grapple to load up the uh, log. Uh, that way then we can get a bigger trailer as well if need be. Uh, I may try and update as well to the latest version of the FDR stuff. Um, although there is a new version coming out this month. Uh, the other option of all those, they're just way too expensive at the moment. And that's the only the small one. I know somebody said, why don't I do use the Volvo? Because it's 365,000 <laughs> for the uh, the big one. Uh, at the moment, it's just not a uh, an option to spend that much money on something like that. So yeah, we'll get some more trees cut down. I'll get these two containers loaded up. And we'll then take these to be sold. Okay, so this will probably be the last tree to finish filling this container. And we say we can get these both up to the store and get them sold. I will possibly do another two containers today. Uh, get those filled and get those sold as well. Just so we get a little bit more money. And we can then clear a little bit more land. So we're almost at the bottom edge of this field. Or in line with the bottom edge of the field. So then we can start clearing further down and across the actual back of the field as well to open up that space. Continue working our way down to the edge of our land, uh, which is just before where it raises up. So we're currently just here, coming up to the back of this field, and you can just about see, it is very faint, but you can just about see the outline of where the ground raises up here, and the where we own just in front of it as well. So if you look on there, there's plenty of space for another field behind this one. So if we can get that area cleared up, I don't know if we'll get it cleared up to plant a crop in it this year. Uh, I think the latest we can plant is October. Uh, so we've got two months. So potentially we may be able to get another field in that we could then 
put some more barley in or potentially get some oats um, uh, some wheat in uh, wheat not very beneficial to us at the moment other than straw uh, where barley would obviously be better because it would give us more feed then for more chickens potentially I think that one is full yeah there we go 33,000 litres so we'll get these down to the store and we'll get these sold and get another two containers and get those filled as well today and then that gives a little bit more money so I can do a little bit more work around the actual buildings there maybe put a little bit more fencing in and tidy up the landscape a little bit more because we'll have a little bit of extra money okay so let's get these two containers sold and so I'm gonna buy another two and probably get those filled today as well I might not sell those today, I might leave them until the, the start of the next episode. That's 26,850 and 26,274. A little bit of a difference between those two, but not a huge amount. So I say I'll get two more containers, we're up to 60,868. So we'll go back down a little bit, down to just over 50,000. And I'll say I'll probably get those filled, but I say we probably won't sell those today. Okay, so I did fill the other two containers I bought and I've just been to sell them and got another two. So we're up to 93,241. So we're not doing too bad and as you can see now as you come around here, we have cleared quite a decent area now. Uh, going down around the back of this field. I'm going to leave these two containers until next time. I may get these filled before the next episode, ready to sell. Um, just so we can speed up clearing this area a little bit. Um, yeah, the plan now is just to continue probably working our way behind this field. Or we'll come down a little bit and then work our way over towards the sheep pasture. And then eventually we'll clear down the side of the current sheep pasture, ready for getting the second one in. Which will be a few months away yet before we need that. Um, so there's not a huge amount to clear. So it'll probably be those few trees just in front of us coming down to here somewhere. So we can get the second pasture in. And then so eventually at some point we'll buy this other area of land that's uh, behind here. Ouch. It's not massively expensive. It's 219,000. Um, it's actually a little bit more expensive than five. Uh, four literally goes all the way up on down that one edge of the map. Uh, that is one thing I would would like to have seen on this map is some the uh, land areas split up a little bit more. Um, probably being a little bit more expensive for the size of them as well because they are quite cheap for how much land you get. So yeah, that will be the kind of plan we'll work towards going over uh, the rest of this year and through winter. We to here across the back of this field and around to where that other sheep pasture will be. Okay, we'll leave this episode here for today. Now we've got quite a bit more progress done on the farm. I've uh, got a new shed in, got the wind turbine in, canola sown as well earlier today. So yeah, next time we'll be planting the barley in the oat field. Loads of eggs now, almost another pallet. Uh, 2,173 litres of barley left in there, so they're fine for a little bit. Uh, one thing I want to do, I did mention about replacing this farmhouse at some point when the new one's available. I'm possibly thinking about moving this greenhouse from the side of the house and bringing it a bit further back. Probably at, maybe at the back of the chicken pen, so clear these trees as well. So we've got a bit more space around the house and the side. And also possibly then get a couple of beehives or a few beehives in here so we can do some honey. Uh, but that'll probably be a job for uh, next time or the time after that. So yeah, a big thank you to everyone that's watched today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And if you've not yet subscribed to this channel then please do consider subscribing. We've got more Farm Simulator 22 content coming up with the Let's Play series and also the live streams as well. 
So again, a big thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.